Hey, what's going on, you guys? Really quick, RSBA1 ICOM 7300 or 7610. One of the peeves I have about the RSBA1 software is that if you run uh, max a uh, full screen resolution, let's say a 1920 by 1280 or whatever, the software itself is too small and you have no way to resize it. So I'm going to show you a workaround for this in a screen layout which works very well for me, seeing as how my eyes are not that good. And I'm not into hunting and pecking on the software. So if you go to your desktop, actually let me, I'm gonna open the RSBA1 remote software first. So this is running on the desktop and you can see how small the software is on the screen. Now you can't resize this. Here's a workaround, right click, in the display, go to display settings, select your display, scroll down, you'll see change the size of text, apps, and other items. Check that out. Now that will only, if you're running multiple displays, that will only happen on that display, right? So then you can reorient the software where you want it. Now I have had a problem getting Log4OM to connect to the ICOM. It, however, I can get November 1 Mike Mike to connect to the ICOM. So I am running VSPE Virtual Serial Port Emulator, 32-bit uh, version, unlicensed. And the default COM port for the ICOM is COM4. And I have a splitter set up to COM2. OmniRig is configured. I cannot get log for OM to work, don't care. So let me show you how I orient the screen to make it functional and have everything on one screen, seeing as how why, why leave this on the screen when you can put more things on the screen down and around here, right? Uh, let's maximize the, uh, uh, the workability. So I'm gonna open November 1 Mike Mike. And you'll see that pop open. Telnet cluster is loading on the right hand side. Entry window, log. And of course, we can't forget the almighty stopwatch. So there you go. That's an easy way to get this uh, very large, very large on the screen. And you can see N1MM is connected. I'll show you really quick. We, let's go to config, configure ports mode control. Let's drag this over here. You'll see port setup is on COM2, radio 7300. If we go into set, uh, speed is really slow. Let's change that, let's change that to uh, 115.2. Always off, always off, DTR, RTS, everything else I leave alone. ICOM code, I set to 94 because that is the CIV address, which is programmed in the radio. You can find that by going to menu into the settings in the CIV, and you can check to see what that is. Mine is 94H, 94 hotel. I just put 94 in there, all right? So we'll click okay. Click okay, make sure she lights up. Now we'll change frequencies, make sure she tracks. And there it is, 71, 71. 43 roughly so she's working all right hope that helps catch y'all later sayonara